Greetings all and welcome back to the Tech Update. Just a short little video today to discuss the newly leaked Anbenic RG40XX. The article I got my info from is on the Retro Handouts website and they posted it over the weekend on Saturday. Apparently there was a small video from a Chinese or Shanghai based video sharing website called Bili Bili. I've never heard of them. And it was posted on this Reddit thread. I'll leave links to the Retro Handheld article and the Reddit thread in the description below. Uh, but I'm going to play the video as it's just a short little 19 second video. And uh, you can see immediately it, it's got a, a stream. It looks like a small Trimby iSmart Pro to me. Initially I thought it looked like an RG Cube and we'll have a look at that in a bit. But I mean they even mentioned it in the video. But it looks more, after looking at it a bit, it looks more like a, a Trimby iSmart Pro to me. A small little Trimby iSmart Pro. Three colors we can see. It's got the RGB lighting around the sticks, which is quite interesting. It's going to have a 4-inch screen. It's a little bit further in the video here somewhere in Chinese. <laughs> so it's going to have an H700 chipset, same as the 35XX range. And it's going to have a 4-inch screen with a 640x480, if I don't, if I recall correctly. 4x3 aspect ratio, 640x480. So that's quite interesting. So... Like I said, initially, it seems a lot of people, when they see this, they think RG Cube. I mean, it's mentioned in the video. But if you look at the RG Cube here on Anbenix website, it's got a more boxy shape. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be thicker than what this little handheld is going to be. Can it work? I think it's got quite a bit of a chance. Uh, because the Trimmy iSmart Pro was very popular. It is still very popular. The Odin Mini 2 just came out in this kind of PSV tile-like shape. So if this comes in at the right price range, uh, it may just make an impact. One of the benefits as well with the H700 chipset that is on all the 35XXs is that you've got quite solid firmware from Anbenic designed for that chipset. They may need to tweak it a bit to work with a 4-inch screen, but that shouldn't be too difficult. So you are, you've got that kind of assurance that it will come up with solid firmware. So yeah, with this kind of shape, this kind of PS Vita-like shape, it could be quite popular, depending on the price. I think if it hits at around $60 to $70, Anbenic may have a hit on there, and even though they've got so many retro handouts to choose from. So variety is always great. Variety is the spice of life. Uh, it just feels like a bit of overkill from Anbenic's side, as there's almost not a month that goes by without them announcing a new handout. It's a bit of a joke in the retro community at the moment. But yeah, it might actually work. Um, that's it for today. I'm going to keep it short and sweet uh, intentionally on this video. Uh, just one bit of other news is the channel hit 400 subscribers yesterday. Very, very grateful for that. Thank you to each and every one of you that subscribed and commented and engaged on this channel. I really do love discussing these units and the games and the software related to them with you guys. So please don't stop. I love baiting and hearing your points of view and disagreeing and agreeing with you, it's really awesome. And I'm excited about the community that's building around this channel and where we're going with it. So yeah, thank you very much for that. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Catch you in the next Tech Update.